Cancer Research UK asked the community to find a way of mapping tumours at a molecular and cellular level. And this is really important information because we, we simply don't know enough about how tumours work, where they get their energy from, why our drugs aren't working. So the more detailed a map we can build about lots and lots of different kinds of molecules inside different cells and in tumours as a whole, then the better we can understand what's going on in a tumour and why a tumour progresses and how it's different to normal tissue. With cancer, because it's always changing and responding and it's very complicated, therefore when you try and treat with a single drug or a combination of drugs, the cancer almost finds a way to escape from that treatment and that's why it's so challenging and so what we need to do is really understand how it escapes and then look at the tumour as a whole rather than just as a small part of the tumour. Google Earth is a really helpful analogy. The idea of Google Earth is that um, detail about individual cities all the way down to the colour of somebody's front door is built up across a whole range of scales. We want to do exactly the same in a tumour sample. So our project uses a whole range of techniques that help us measure all these molecules across all of these scales. Our aim in the project is to build all of this detailed information so that we can diagnose cancer earlier and develop better medicines. By using a series of really exciting technology, um, image-based mass spec approaches, we're really going to be able to look across the tumour and then work out what individual pieces are doing. And particularly looking at the building blocks of those cells, the metabolites, what, what, how is the tumour growing in different places. I think that there is enough momentum and enough funding and enough new ideas here that with this team and this project we can make a real difference. I feel quite privileged to have the opportunity to be part of it. It's a, a terribly complex and interesting thing to do, but the results of that could be life-changing in, in the whole area of cancer research. This is a, a fantastically difficult problem that we're trying to solve. So to really get to the bottom of what's happening in a tumour at the molecular and cellular level, we need to bring together the physicists and the chemists, the inventors of the techniques that can help measure these things, together with the biologists, cancer metabolism experts, even clinicians to help us guide um, performing those experiments on the right samples. So it's been a lot of work to bring this group of people together. We've really brought the best investigators in the world to try and tackle this problem.